Hi everyone, so what is a cheb? If you're new to lure fishing, all these different terms can be quite confusing. It's actually short for Shebaruska, which is a Russian um, name given to uh, a form of lead for fishing soft plastic lures. Call that upside down. That's a big one, just so I can show you on the screen. And it gets its name from a cart Russian cartoon character in 1965, and it became a bit of a Russian joke to name anything that's got a sort of monkey-shaped head. Um, after the character, Shabruska. So that's what a Cheb is, or Cheb, if you're from South London. And the advantage of it is that you can fish soft plastics in a way that they remain animated. And I'll come into why that's useful in a moment. So just compare that to a normal jig head. The weight is actually moulded as part of the hook. The only way you can animate the soft plastic lure is by retrieving it um, or then going static. So that's what causes this paddle tail to, to move or by dropping it through the water as it sinks. So that's a jig head. And um, where I most often use Chebrus, <laughs> Cheb weights, I can't say the Russian version, full Russian version, um, is in my finesse fishing. So this one's made of tungsten, it's much, much smaller, much denser. That's actually three grams, that one. And I've got it attached to an FS, FFS floating stick from FFS lures on a weedless hook. So the beauty of this lure is in the depths of winter, being on a, a Cheb weight, it's hinged. So I can cast this out, it can sink to the bottom, my floating stick worm will pop up, and just with the slightest little deft touch with the rod tip, I can get it to hop forwards, and this is gonna move sideways as well as forwards. And animating a lure is what makes them come to life and what makes fish see them as something other than just plastic. And in the winter, when the water's cold and the fish don't want to chase, that is when it's most effective and when I normally choose to use it most. So when you're putting your lure on, you just need to be mindful of how you put it on. When you pull these pins out, they can be quite stiff. And if you pull really hard with your fingers, sometimes the pin can go straight into your finger. I normally use a pair of pliers. These are great, by the way, the, the Daiwa pistol grip forceps. Not so good for the old perch fishing, but great for pike fishing. So holding on to that cheb, I can pull the pin out. There's my pin. You just need to make sure you put it on the right, right way round. Because as I say, when you put the pin back in, once that pin's back in, you want to make sure your hook's coming off here with the hook point coming round like that, not the other way around. Because when you cast out, this cheb weight is going to be landing with the, the fat side facing down. Ah, let's just turn that around. So it's going to be landing like that, not like <laughs> the hat. Yeah, it's going to right itself. So there you go. Uh, if you found that useful, hopefully you did, because there's not a lot out there that's just cut straight to the chase. Please add a sub. I'm going to do more tutorials. And there's also some uh, vlogs in there on the Fisheries channel. Um, sea course game in the UK. Thanks for watching.